Hey guys, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Today we're going to be hanging our garai wall planter and you get to be a part this of it. This is going to be super fun. We've got a mix of annuals and some herbs and stuff that we're going to plant in this. If you guys remember this wall planter, we're actually giving away one of these wall planters right. this week. In fact, yeah. our contest ends today. Today. So Garai was gracious enough to donate a couple wall planters to give away. We gave away one on Instagram and one on YouTube. So guys, you have until the end of today to actually enter the contest here on YouTube. Go to Friday's Plant Chant about daffodils and make sure to comment down below about why you want the wall planter. Here we go guys, we're gonna, we're gonna take you on over. Okay. So we are gonna hang it over here in our little raised bed garden area because we just thought this was a good use of space. You can see where we're gonna put the planter. It's gonna be between these two posts. Gonna have to finagle with the carpentry a little bit because this post over here is directly not plumb coming straight on, oh, so it's right. at an angle. So I got a plan for that, and I'll show you about that a little bit uh, later in the video. So there's our planter. So we're yep. gonna hang it about here, right? About that height, yep. maybe? Yep, we'll follow that uh, that part of the, the fence there, uh, the hog wire, and we'll use that as our guide to go straight across. I've got the level over here. I like this, and so. Then, uh, so yeah. This is gonna be really cool. This gets a lot of full sun over here, you guys. Wow. We thought this would be a perfect spot. We're not using it, right? I mean, it's no. just this unused wall. Yep. And we're, Sean and I, our goal this year is to really use a lot more of our spaces, do a lot more vertical gardening, and just like fill in with plants and herbs and vegetables just everywhere. Yep, so this is so, the start of that. There you go. Here we go. So cool, so now we need to take these planters off that and take them over so we can Fill them up. Yeah, they just clip off the back, if you see that. Yeah, really cool, they just slip on and off. Yeah, you can just yep. put them right there. So let's yep. get all these. Okay. Okay, you guys, we're back over at our pallet table here and we kind of have all the supplies laid out. The only thing we need to do is fill these with soil. So we're gonna do that off camera in can just a sec. we look inside there too and show them again that little, okay. that little insert thing there. Like that. Yep, so there you go. And so we, we drilled a couple more holes in the, in the corners on yeah, this to get a little bit more drainage. There. Yep. And then these inserts go right in there and that helps keep the soil away from plugging those holes directly. I know, I like how that was constructed. Mm -hmm. You know, you really don't even have to drill the hole. There was already one hole in here, but Sean and I just kind of wanted a little extra drain drainage. So we thought, eh, let's put it in. Cool. So what we've got is all six little trays. Um, this is kind of the assortment of plants we're going to use. Wow. Let me turn these around. I was we were playing around with these already. Yeah, so it was so much fun going and getting these today, guys. We, wow. We had a lot of fun. So we have a lot of pansies. Mm -hmm. Aren't these beautiful? Look at those colors. Oh yeah. Love that flower. Oh, it's so Ooh. just huge. Look at that. Beautiful. So a couple of those, a couple of these beautiful kind of rusty orangey, yeah, little, almost burgundy yeah, and a little yellow. Burgundy in there. Yeah. That's called Delta Fire. Ooh. So that's a pretty one. And a beautiful white premium pure white pansy. So yep. what else do we have? We've got basil. Oh, yeah, we've got, got some basils. Yeah, got some basil. What, we got sage? We've got a couple sage plants. We in. wanted to find out how many plants were actually in here and there's technically six yep. for a little carton. So we can, we might mix and match these up a little bit within these uh, containers. Yep. So, ooh, sweet alyssum. Got some sweet alyssum. And it smells so sweet. We definitely wanted to have some trailing plants just to add some vertical interest and just kind of look beautiful. So we're gonna mix something like this, maybe an alyssum with maybe a pansy. Oh yeah, Wouldn't that's that look gonna pretty? look beautiful. Just the white, oh, love that. Mm -hmm. We also have nasturtiums too. And there are multiple plants in here, you guys, as well. Oh yeah, look at all those guys. Awesome. So the question, now we're growing these from seed as well, but sometimes you get excited and you want to have, you know, buy them as they're already, they've already been started, right? So the question is, do we split these up? Do we put them all in, in a big clump? I don't know. I'm, I'm of the opinion we clump them. We put them in smaller clumps around. So we kind of keep them all together and maybe, kind of. again, these are going to be a trailer. This is a jewel mix nasturtium. So it's going to be colors of like oranges and yellows and reds, and it's going to be beautiful. So lots of color, you guys. They're not in bloom yet, but they will be. Okay, you guys, so I think I'm gonna just start playing with plants and get these potted up and kind of mix and match them a little oh, bit. Looks, so looks like be so fun. much fun. I know. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna go over and start building the frame out, um, the wood, put the wood together and frame out for uh, hanging and installing the wall planter. Oh, that's so, gonna be awesome. And you guys, you'll get to see me do that and I'll explain a couple of things while we're over there. So, so we're, we're gonna- 
We're gonna divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. Yeah, let's yep. do this. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, it's time for me to get started. I've got all six containers filled with soil, so those are ready to go. So it's basically just mixing and matching plants to however I like, I guess. And there's so many options. So you can see these are just small little trays and you you should be able to fit at least two or three plants in here. That's kind of the, the goal I'm going with. I might even overcrowd them just a tiny bit. So um, again, we saw that we have some beautiful pansies. We have nasturtiums. Um, you could really just fill these all with herbs if you want. Once you're ready to add the plant to the container, make sure that you don't bury it any deeper than it is in the container here. So the level that the soil is in this container should match how deep you plant it in the new container. That's just a general rule of thumb. So my goal is to get everything planted, then I'm going to water them, and then we'll hopefully Sean will be finished um, installing and setting up the, the new Garai wall planter, and we can put these all in and see what they look like. Okay, here we go. So guys, we're here in the garden. We're gonna attach this. How we're gonna do that is, is we're gonna take these two two by fours and we're gonna take them and go across here and down there based on how big this is. So in each corner of the gray framing, we'll be able to pin it on here, here, and then on the bottom one too. And we should be good to go. So, but what I gotta do is, is I gotta make some interesting cuts on this. Uh, on these 2x4s to get them to fit on here and to use these 2x4 brackets. So I've got some wood screws, uh, two inch wood screws, treated 2x4s, and then uh, you saw the you saw the brackets. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, just got to make some fun cuts, measure some stuff out, put it all together. What we got here too is we got battery operated Ryobi uh, uh, saw and an impact driver and with the special uh, driver on itself. And so the impact drill with the driver, we're set to go. So I'm just going to get into it, guys.
Okay, guys, here it is. Yep, looks it's all good. Done. You know, the Woo. plants are all in there. They look a little droopy right now. I was kind of worried, but they've just been recently watered and yep. they there's might. A, there's a little transplant yeah. shot going on, so they'll be fine though. They'll be fine, but we're we're loving this. Isn't this cute? Sean did a great job. Oh, thanks. I love how it just connects right to this these two posts that we already had here. Yep, super industrial, but it'll work and it does the job. It'll take all that weight and then some. And uh, we just created another uh, another growing space. Yeah, I love it. Yep. Hey. So, whoo -hoo. So guys, that's it. Um, you saw us plant uh, everything. You saw us put together and frame up uh, the Garai uh, wall planter, and everything turned out great. I know. I really like how it turned out. I'm Me super too. excited to let watch that grow and yeah. fill in. It's gonna be super it's awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, and all the plant selections. And I know. You that put was them all fun. together. That, that looked great. That'll that be looks fun. awesome. Now, the next step is our other Garai planter, which is a cool vertical um, standing unit, and we'll be planting that up really soon. Yep. Yep. We've got all the supplies now. We've got the plants. We're gonna do it. So, stay tuned for that. Maybe in the next few days, we'll get that planted up and we'll show you what we're gonna plant. Yeah, guys. So, until then, leave your comments and questions down below for us. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. Yeah, that's a wrap, you guys. Have a great day, and we'll be back tomorrow with our next garden care video. Yeah. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.